What is going on everybody? It is Bush Fishing. Now, today we have a different video. If you're new here, I'm Bush Fishing. I fish a lot and I catch a lot of big fish, but today we're doing a video on how to make a homemade iFish Pro for $8 or even less. I guarantee some of you people could do it for less. Before we start, I've seen some tutorials on this kind of topic and it's either they don't have a good enough camera, they don't explain it well enough. I never liked tutorials like that, so I always told myself if I ever did this kind of video, I'd make it a lot better, so that's what today is going to be. I'm going to show you guys some clips right now while I'm getting everything set up of this in action. If you watched my last video, you saw me catch a couple fish on this homemade iFish Pro. So I'm going to get set up and then I'll show you guys those clips and then we'll get started on this. I'm getting spooled, Rachi! That's him, Ranchy. That's him. You help? Get back here. Get back here. My heart is racing. I don't, but can you get it? Get you. No way. Oh, he's going with it. Got him. He's on there. I saw the tip bounce. Come on, spool me, buddy. Spool him. Did you get off? I don't know. It bounced. He did not get off. Oh. Bass. bass. Hey. I wanted a bass this year in the. Okay, so let's quickly talk about what you guys are going to need for this project. Number one, you're going to need a 2x6. Now, it doesn't have to be a 2x6. It could be a 1x something of that nature, but I wouldn't go any thinner than a 2x6. Next, you're going to need a piece of PVC. Now, whatever thickness fits your rod will work. Just don't go too big. Try and keep it cheap. One and a quarter is the size that I got. You can go smaller. They're pretty cheap. The next things you're going to need are two pieces of wooden dowel. One's going to be thicker. That's going to be where your extra trigger goes on. And then the next one's going to be skinnier. That's going to be for your flag. Now, I've seen people do this with metal, but the metal, like, flops around too much. The wood just comes straight up, and it stays up there so you guys can see it. Next, you're going to need a doorstop. This can be any doorstop. It doesn't matter what color it is. Just some type of doorstop that's going to fit that skinny piece of dowel inside of it. And then lastly, you're going to need an alligator clip. Now, there are going to be some tools that you guys probably have at your house that you won't have to go out and buy, but that's pretty much it for the things, the materials that you need. So now, I'm going to get you guys on the tripod and I'm going to show you how this baby works. Okay, so how we get this set up. My rod, this thing got a little bit kachowed because I shoved it in something, it won't look like that. But how we have the set up, your rod goes in the rod holder. Next, you get your line out, you get your fish set at the set depth, you're going to grab the line, you're going to pinch it in the alligator clip. You're going to set it to where it's parallel with the bottom board so there's a little bit of tension on it. And when the fish bites, it's going to pull it up and spin the inside dowel. You're going to bring your flag down, set it on the little notch that we create. And then when the fish bites, pulls on the line, flag comes up, it comes out of the alligator clip and you're open bail so the fish can run. You see the flag, you get over to it, close the bail, and goose her button. Okay, now that we know how it works, let's get building it. Okay, we're going to begin with building the part that the actual trigger sits in. This is going to look a little different than the one I already have. This one's going to be more aesthetically pleasing because the last one I just had blocks and it's kind of hard to get to the trigger, but this way it's going to be really easy to get to that trigger. So we're going to start by measuring three inches up from the bottom. We're going to make one mark and then right at that three inch mark, we're going to come out one inch. Make another mark there. Now you have a corner, or you should have an X or something. Three inches up, one inch out from the side. Next, you're going to take a speed square. Now, if you don't have one of these, just use a straight edge or something. But all we're going to be doing is we're going to be making a 45 degree angle. Just putting this on one side from that very corner, three inches up, one inch out. We're just going to draw a line. So now we just basically made something that looks like a ramp. I don't know what shape or how to explain that. But we're going to need two of these and in theory we should be able to do the opposite side. So I'll show you guys that now. Holy crap! Okay, here is block one. 
Now, what's going to happen, we're going to drill a hole right here. This is going to make it so it's easier to access the alligator clips. And now we're going to do an exact one of these for the other side. And we should be on our way. Okay, so since this is 45 degrees, the other, guy, the other side should be the exact same angle. All we have to do is measure one inch from here, make a straight line back, and then cut it across, and we should have the exact same thing. So we're going to measure one inch from this corner, which is right here. And then we're going to make a line straight across down here, straight across here, and we'll be on our way. There's one, there's two. Now this block, we're going to cut here and here, and we should have the exact as this side. Let's quickly test that. That is an exacto. Oh, yeah, but we take a look here, two of the exact same block. Let's put them up next to each other. Oh, I actually found the problem. It was just stuck on the back. So what's going to happen next is we're going to get these screwed in like this after we drill our holes and everything. And this is going to be our trigger mechanism. As you can see, it's going to be a lot more aesthetically pleasing with this cut like this rather than just being a block. And we're going to be able to hide the screws a little bit better. So let's get on to the next step. Okay, so for our next step, you're going to want to find a drill bit that's as thick or maybe even a little bit thicker than the thicker dowel. Now, all of my drill bits got kachowed, so I'm gonna be pre-drilling with a smaller one, which I still recommend that you guys do, and then drilling with the one that's closest to what I have, and then I'm just gonna whittle on the outsides. And what I have here is I have them clamped together, so I don't really have to worry about measuring it, but I will say you want it closer to the angled side because that's going to make it easier for you to pinch the alligator clip. We're going to get it pretty much kind of centered. We don't really have to measure out with this since they're on top of each other. But yeah, we're going to drill straight through with the small one and then whittle out with the big drill or with the big bit. Holy shit, don't do that. Let's test it. Oh yeah, she goes straight through. A little tight, so I'm going to whittle that out, but should be pretty good. Okay, so now that we have our two pieces cut, we got the holes drilled in them so we can have the dowel through. You're going to want to set it up. One side is going to be all the way to the edge, and the other side isn't going to be. And that's because the flag is going to sit on this trigger right here. And it needs to have room for that. You could put it off the edge, but I just like to have it here so it's all compacted into one. So what we're going to do, it doesn't really matter how far you go. I'm going to push this back. You're going to want to leave this a little bit past. I would say like an inch past. We're going to make a mark there. We're going to make a mark on the inside of this. Or on the outside, we're going to make a mark on the outside of this. The inside. We're going to make a mark on the inside of this where you want it to sit, and then on the outside of that. What you're going to want to do is you're going to make an X dead center of this rod. You'll see why I'm doing that in a second, but now we can take this dowel out. Now we're going to secure these in. We're going to screw them in and make sure they don't move so it's easier to work with the other stuff when we're actually making the trigger for this. We're going to get a drill bit that's about the size of the screw, a little bit smaller. We're pre-drilling so nothing cracks. And we're going to drill, I'm going to put one screw here, one screw here, and then one screw on the back, one screw on the back. That's going to make sure this doesn't move and then, and then we're good. Okay, so we have this piece of wood all the way on the outside. I'm going to hold it down and I'm going to drill on an angle right in the center of this so the, the head of the screw is going to sit flush with... Now you don't have to go all the way into the 2x6 on the bottom because that's how the screw is going to hold, but we're going to put on our... Hex head bit, I'm using hex head screws, I don't even know what kind. Just what I had laying around, again, use whatever you have, save the most money. I'm going to start going in horizontal and then I'm going to angle it up.
just like that. Switch bits. Now that baby is rock solid. This whole 2x6 is moving. This isn't. So now we're going to grab our other piece, put it down. Now you can see I have marks on this rod. Hopefully you guys can see that. But we're going to line it up with how we measured it out. Okay, and then we're going to hold it there, pull the rod out. I'm actually going to grab my pencil. I'm just going to put little marks on it so I know exactly where it needs to go for it to work with that. And we're going to do the same thing as this side, except on this side. Okay, so these babies are fully secure now. They're not going anywhere. Now the next step, we're just going to get a rough cut on this. So we're going to line it up how we want it. Mark on the outside where it's even with the outside board. We're going to cut that, but first we're going to cut this side. DUDE! I'm actually going to cut it right here and I'm going to cut it with a handsaw. Okay, so now that we're on the left side of this, this is where the flag's actually going to sit under. So what we're going to want to do, now that we have the outside of it where it's parallel with the outside edge of the board, we're going to cut on a 45 degree angle. Now, it's important to know, you want the X that's in here facing parallel with the board and you want to cut the 45 from top down, so it's going to be a quarter of a turn away from it. And you'll see the reason why we're doing that. Oh, we actually goofed that up. You're going to want the X not on this side, but on this side, on the top of where the 45 is. Now the reason for that, your alligator clip's gonna go in like this, your flag's gonna be sitting here. When the fish bites, it's gonna pull the alligator clip up, your flag's gonna slip to the 45 degree angle, and your flag's gonna go up, and then your line's gonna pop out and you're gonna have a fish on. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna get a drill bit that fits that alligator clip. We're gonna get a drill bit that fits this alligator clip right here. And then we're gonna put it on the top side of this. So the longer end of your dowel, this side, the longer end, right on top of that, wherever your X is parallel to, that's where we're gonna drill the hole. Okay, so we got our drill bit that's about the same size as the alligator clip end. We found our X. We're gonna drill the hole on top of it, dead center, all the way through. Okay, so what you're going to want to do is you're going to take your dowel, you're going to put it in through the holes, center your hole that you cut, you guys can see that hopefully, and then you're going to take your alligator clip, you're going to kind of push it in there, it should be tight enough to where it just goes in, and now, there's our alligator clip, and I'll hand hold this to show you guys. Okay, so here's how it's looking so far. We got our wood, we have the dowel through, the alligator clip is here, it's through the hole that we drilled in the middle. Now. We're going to cut a little bit of a dent on the bottom side of this. As you guys can see, the 45 is facing this way. Now, the line goes through there. When it pulls, it goes like this, where we have the flag slips on this, and then your flag goes up, the line pulls out of here, and then we got a fish on. So the next step, I'm going to grab some super glue. That's one of the things that I kind of forgot about. You're going to need super glue just to keep that alligator clip in. Honestly, we probably don't need it, but I'm going to put it in there just to make sure nothing comes out. And then we're going to start working on the rod holder and the actual flag. Okay, it's heating up now. All we're going to do, take out the alligator clip that's already in there pretty flipping tight. We got our super glue, cheap super glue. We're going to put some on the alligator clip. And then we're going to put a little bit inside the hole. Always lube your hole. We're gonna let it dry for a little bit so it actually gets sticky. And then we're gonna shove this baby in here. But you're gonna wanna make sure that the side that you pinch is facing up. It's gonna make it a hell of a lot easier to put your line in there. So now we got that done. Let's start working on the flag and the rod holder. Okay, so you remember our doorstop? This is where that comes in. On the bottom of these, there's a little spring in there. You see that? There's a little spring inside of it. You're gonna grab this bottom plate and you're gonna twist it. You're gonna twist it counterclockwise. <laughs> and then it'll come off inside 
of there, there's a screw. Grab that baby. Now, doesn't matter which way you set this, but this is how far back your flag's gonna be. You don't wanna set it too close, but you also don't wanna set it too far. So I'm gonna set it right about here. All you're gonna do, grab your Phillips screwdriver, screw that in, and then we'll put on the doorstop. Okie dokie, we got that in. Now you're gonna take your door jam. There's a lifted side right there. You're gonna put it in the hole down here. You're just gonna twist it on. Once it's fully on, that's what's gonna set your flag. Okay, the next step's gonna be to take the bit that you just used for your alligator clip. It's gonna be a little small, but what we're gonna be doing is drilling a hole dead center on the top of this. What that's gonna allow us to do is put our flag rod, which is much thinner than the other one, through the top of it, and then it'll fling up. So we're gonna drill that hole now. Oh yeah, now that baby's in there. <laughs> so now let's do that again. Now we have it cut shorter. You guys can see the end of this. Twist this. Boing. Yeah, now she's up there. So the next step is gonna be the rod holder, so let's get working on that. Okay, so it's rod holder time now. I already have this angle cut from the last time, but for the sake of this video, I'm gonna cut it off and restart. Okay, so to do this, I'm gonna take this crappy saw, and all I'm gonna do, don't make the mistake of trying to go this way with it, just cut it at an angle like this. Okay, so this actually looks pretty good, but as you can see, it's like not perfectly flat. So I'm gonna grab a piece of sandpaper, we're gonna sand it down. We're gonna sand down some of the wood over there to make it all look pretty. And then we'll get to drilling. Okay, so we have this end sanded down. Now we're gonna take our drill bit that we used for this screw before. I'm using the same kind. I pretty much have this as far back as I do the start of the flag. All we're gonna do is go on the, right on the top of it. It's kind of hard on PVC, but you're just going to go straight in and then down, you know, just pre-drilling. This drill bit sucks ass, but got the hole drilled. Put that in. Now, honestly, this thing's barely moving as it is. You can put another one in, you can glue it, you can do whatever, but we're pretty much done with this. I'm just gonna sand down a little bit. We're gonna do some final touches and we should be with a working iFish Pro. So the last part of this is the best part. We're gonna be building the flag now. I have this fabric here. This is actual flag material. This is what the flags are made of. You can use pretty much whatever. You can make the flag as big as you want. You can make it as small as you want. I'm gonna use a pretty good chunk of this just because I like the big flags and as you guys saw, and if you ask some of the people I fish with, I'm blind, I can't see flag. Okay, here's our flag. Now, you're gonna wanna leave the pretty side on the outside. All we're gonna do is put super glue on the dowel and then pinch it down. Now, for the alligator clips, you're probably gonna get like a pack of three or something. So you can use those to pinch it down. We should have a pretty good looking flag. Okay, we got our super glue. Gonna lube up this wood pretty good with it. Okay, now we're gonna put just a little bit on the flag too. You're gonna put it on, you don't wanna put too much wrapped around but you want to make sure that wood's fully covered now be careful because it does bleed through the flag so don't get your hand stuck to it okay so your pack's going to come with some extra alligator clips i'm going to use that just on top to keep this pinched down so our glue will stick and grab a little extra glue put it on the tips down here okay, so now your flag's going to sit down here fish is going to set it off boing yeah have a look at that you're going to see that baby Okay, so that's pretty much the last step. All we're gonna do is let this thing dry. We gotta cut it off from the whole 2x6. I'll show you guys real quick some things that you can do, but you can drill a hole with the same bit that you use for the alligator clip. You can drill a hole here and drill a hole here, and what that's gonna allow you, well, it's just gonna keep the dowel in place and keep your alligator clip in the middle. Now, since you have that clip in there, it's not gonna come out. So I'm actually not going to be doing that, but I'm going to let this dry for a little bit. 
I'm going to cut it off and then we're going to test her out and we're going to make sure that she works exactly like she's supposed to and then we should be done. All right, so last step, we're just going to cut this 2x6 off. You want to get as close as you can to this just so you don't have to carry extra weight. You don't really have to make sure that it's perfect. Boom! We got Nightfish Pro. All right, here we have it, folks. So I got my rod from the other one. Now, I could cut something here that would make this sit in it a little better, but I'm not going to just because I don't have time today. All you do, get your line set, open your bale, pinch the alligator clip, which is much easier on this, and then get your rod down, set it in the setting. You pull on this baby, and then I don't have tape. That's a big thing. Put tape around your alligator clip so your line comes out easier, but your line comes out, she's free spool, even though it didn't really come out. Definitely gonna have to put tape over that. She's free spool. You got a big ass flag that you're gonna see flying in the wind. Okay, real quick. Oh, I'm zoomed in. Real quick, before I go, do not forget to put the line, I mean the tape around the alligator clip because alone, this is way too like sharp. Your line will get stuck in it, it won't come out, and then the fish is going to feel that. Put tape in it. With just regular clear tape, it worked perfectly. So do that and you should be good to go. Now, if you guys like this video, make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe. Right now, the season's closed for game fishing here in Wisconsin. So I'm going to have to be doing a lot more of these videos. So if there's anything you guys want to see, building, motors, anything fishing related, pretty much anything at all. Let me know in the comment section, I'll be sure to do it. I got another video coming up, and then at the end of this week, I'm taking a trip down to Mexico. I don't know if this video is going to be out before then, but there should be another one coming out while I'm down in Mexico, and then when I get back, you're going to have a sick-ass saltwater video. Hopefully, I'm going to get a big marlin. But without further ado, folks, thank you for watching, and make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one.